Welcome to today's lesson. The laying objective is as followed, to understand how to interpret key features of quadratic graphs. The success criteria is as followed. 1. Able to understand the turning point of a quadratic graph. 2. Able to graphically find if an equation is positive or negative. And finally 3. Find the x-intercept of quadratic graphs. We're going to be moving on to the retrieval practice. Here is the retrieval practice. Give yourself 10 minutes to complete these questions. Great job, make sure to mark your work in green pen. With the fourth question, C just represents a number and the number cannot be two. So you can have the answer Y equals three X plus seven, but you cannot have Y equals three X plus two. Okay, so we're gonna be moving on to the next slide. So a parabola, quadratic graphs are given to us in the shape of a parabola. Quadratic equations are given to us as y equals a x squared plus bx plus c, where c is the y-intercept. These graphs, like I said before, have a certain shape of a parabola. If a is positive, the shape will be in a u, and if a is negative, then the shape will be in an n. To plot such graphs, you need to substitute the values of x into the equation to find the corresponding y-values. Plot points and then join with a smooth curve. Here are some examples of quadratic functions. Here is the first one, y equals x squared. y equals x squared minus 3x and you can tell all of them have a positive, they're all positive quadratic graphs because they're in that u shape. y equals negative 3x squared. As you can see it is a negative because the graph is in a shape of an n. We're going to move on to the next slide now. So where do we see parabolas in real life? We see it in the path of a moving object. So such as um, hitting a golf ball, radio telescopes, and even shooting a cannonball. So here's a few examples. Okay, so here we're gonna go and actually interpret key features of quadratic graphs. So here, where the graph actually meets the x-axis is where the roots of the graph are. So how are the roots of a graph? And we're just going to write the coordinates down of it. And here's the other root of the graph. Okay. And this hair bit is the minimum point. Because it's the minimum point of the graph. Okay. Um, I've totally spelled that wrong, but that's okay. Um, and it's also called the turning point. Pause this video and have a go at doing the we-do. Copy the diagram down and just label the graph. Great job, well done. The roots are um, 4, 0 and 8, 0. Great job. All right, so moving forward. So I've done the we do question this time around. So here you can see that the roots are in fact zero, zero, because that's where it meets the x axis, and also is four, zero. The minimum point is actually um, over here. But it's actually not going to be called the minimum point. It's actually going to be called the maximum point this time around. Right? Because it's the maximum value is as high as the graph goes. Okay? And if you actually notice here, the graph actually does cross into the y uh, axis at 0, 0. So we, the y intercept is also 0, 0. Okay? So y intercept... Is that zero zero? Have a go at the ID question. Remember to pause your video. Great job. So with the answer for this, this is the root. So zero zero is a root of it, and also four zero is a root, 
And instead of having a maximum point, we actually have a minimum point. Okay. And also we do have a y-intercept here. A y-intercept is zero, zero. Right, great job. We're going to be moving on to our next example. So, I'm going to do the I do question. And make sure there's a copy down and have note, make notes. So with this one here, there are no roots at all. Because there's no places in which the graph crosses the, y, uh, the x-axis. Sorry, So it has no roots. But it does indeed have a maximum point. So this is the maximum point of the graph. And also you can tell with this graph that it's actually going to be it's going to be a negative graph as well. Because it's downturned, isn't it? It's in the shape of an N. So it's a negative graph. And then with this one, we can tell um, that it is in fact positive. So have a go, copy these uh, diagrams down and make sure to label them as well. Great job. So it does have a minimum point over here and it's a positive graph as well. All right, so here are the practice exercises. What I want you guys to do here is label if the graph is positive or negative and also also label the roots as well of these graphs. Make sure to copy down these graphs into your book as well. If you haven't paused your video, this is the time to do so. Great job. Make sure you mark your work in green pen. Okay, so this one obviously is a positive graph, so it's positive positive. This one is negative. This one is also positive. This one is negative. This one is positive. And this one is negative. You work so hard this lesson. Give yourself a good pat on the back. Well done.